On November 4th, 2014, I started the biggest and longest running project I've ever attempted, building my own pipe organ. After collecting hundreds of parts and doing a lot of designing, I started to work on this crazy project that has lasted five years and is still not done. This is the history of my interest in organs, and most importantly, the history of my homemade pipe organ. Two years before I started building, I started playing the organ at church and discovered how fun and interesting the organ is. I became obsessed with pipe organs, so much so that I visited the largest pipe organs around, including the largest working pipe organ, the Wanamaker organ in Philadelphia, the organ in the chapel at the Naval Academy in Annapolis, and the world's largest organ in Atlantic City, New Jersey. My interest very quickly shifted from playing the organ to the workings of the pipe organ. Right around that time, I started designing my own pipe organ. In fact, in preparation for this video, I searched around and found over 30 pages of designs for my own organ that I drew when I was 14 years old. The plans are incredibly detailed and very imaginative. One of the plans brought the total number of pipes up to 600. Another designed a way to get a 16-foot pipe rank in my bedroom. I also began collecting parts from some very generous organ builders. I got electromagnets, pipes, wind chests, wire, and anything I needed plus tons of knowledge on building and tuning organs. I got so lucky to find these people and to get to work with them. I really could not have done this project without them. So for a few months in the winter of 2014 and 15, I built most of the organ and got it to work occasionally. But then, my interest shifted to other things, like composing and songwriting. In case you haven't seen my songs that I've written, they're at the top of my YouTube channel. I feel called to write Christian music now, and it brings me a lot of joy to produce them. I hope you'll check it out. Anyway, I forgot about the organ I was building. It stopped working and switched to collecting dust. But recently, now in 2019, I decided to try to get it to work again. I cleaned up the electronics, fixed ciphers, added new ductwork, painted, and even pulled the motor out of a vacuum to use as my blower. Now it works again, though it is still out of tune and wonky. It works, and that's what matters. It's done for now, but I'm positive I'll add more to it someday down the road. Maybe I'll add a 16-foot pipe, or get over 600 pipes someday. But for now, all I know is 66 pipes are just enough for me. For now. Thanks for watching my video. This is the first time I've done a video with me narrating over top of it like this. I hope you liked it, and I hope to do more like this in the future. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them soon. If you liked it, Please subscribe or support me by listening to my songs. Links are below in the description. Thank you and have a nice day.